Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl, Britt Johnson. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Make sure you follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. Do not forget to like this video, click subscribe, and obviously join the notification gang so you know when I am posting a video because I am a genius and you guys want all of my information because, <clears throat> let me pat myself on the back. <sighs> last week, week five of the NFL season, if you guys watched my predictions, from last week, I got all of them correct except for two. Every single NFL game, I nailed it on the head except for two. I got the um, Colts and Browns game incorrect because uh, I just didn't really think the Browns were like going to be as great as they are. I just thought they were going to have a good start and then just like plummet really quickly, but they didn't. So I got that game wrong, and then I also got the Raiders and Chiefs game incorrect, which, like, who knew? I mean, way to go, Derek Carr and Raiders for, you know, ending, snapping the Chiefs' undefeated record. But, um, yes, so I I hope <laughs> this is going to be a similar week. Um, but, yes, last week was the best week I've ever done in my predictions, and I was, like, so excited. I couldn't believe it. So hopefully I can – repeat that this week for week six of the NFL season. Obviously, this is a strange week as was last week because we not only had games on Sunday, Monday, but we also for the second time in 70 years had a Tuesday night football game, which is crazy. We have not seen that in a long time, but that was due to COVID and positive tests in the set and the third and having to move games around which is why now on Thursday Night Football, we do not have a game for Thursday night this week because of COVID yet again, which is why the NFL is now thinking of adding a week 18 just to kind of um, figure out some of these uh, schedules and missed games that have happened because of COVID. So it should be really interesting, um, but we don't have football until Sunday this week. And that first game that I'm going to talk about is actually a um, carryover from last week. So because of positive COVID test with the Patriots, the Patriots and Broncos game had to get moved back. Um, so now they will be playing that game this Sunday. So I'm going to keep my same energy and I'm going to have the Patriots winning that game because we do know Cam Newton will be back in the lineup now that that game has been pushed back to Sunday. So I have the Patriots winning against the Broncos for my first prediction for week six. Um, next, I have the Bears and Panthers game. Panthers have like been getting into their stride, um, and I think this NFC South is actually going to be really competitive division as well, on top of like what I had previously said about the NFC West, but this NFC South is is looking pretty good, uh, minus the Falcons, of course, but the Bucks, the Saints, and the Panthers have all been doing pretty well. Um, but the Bears have been on fire, like, and especially now with uh, Nick Foles stepping into that quarterback position uh, for the team, I think sky's the limit for them. They now have an 85% chance to make it to the playoffs um, compared to what they went into the season with. So, um, yeah, I'm actually going with the Bears winning that one. I think they've just been on a roll playing a Amazing. Um, next, we have the Texans and Titans game. Can we just get, take a pause moment for that stiff arm from Derrick Henry this last week on <laughs> Josh? Like, that was amazing, first of all. Like, shout out to Derrick Henry for just being a beast and shutting up the guy that talks probably the most in the league. Like, Josh Norman is just a yippity yapper and he always talks. And I remember when he used to play against my Cowboys, he was always talking crap, especially to Des Bryant. And so for Derrick Henry to shut him up the way he did, like, he's a goat now for that. Um, Titans are going to stay undefeated this week. I think they have this one in the bag, even though the Texans did, like I predicted, won their first game now that Bill O'Brien is not the head coach of the team. But um, I think the, the Titans have just been looking really good, and I think they're going to stay undefeated this week. Next, we have the Browns and Steelers. So Big Ben is actually 22-2-1 against the Browns. The Browns have been looking really good. I think this is like their moment season to turn around. I said it before. The Browns just needed to get into their groove. They needed some time to get comfortable with each other, and they look very comfortable. Um, however... 
I still think the Steelers are a better team, and I have them winning this week against the Browns. Next, we have Ravens and Eagles. I'm going with the Ravens on this. I love m nothing more than to see people in the NFC East lose, just because that's my division. Um, next, we have Washington and the New York Giants. Um, two terrible NFC East teams. The whole entire NFC East is really, really bad. Um, the Cowboys are still in first place, even though we have a terrible record. And as long as the other teams just stay worse than us, we have the ability to get home field advantage during the playoffs, which I think is crazy and funny, but I love it. Um, either we're always really good together or always really terrible together, and this is just a really bad year. But out of two terrible teams, one is 1-4, and four, the other one is 0-5. Oh Who is going to suck more? Um, well, I think the New York Giants are going to suck more. I think Washington's going to win this week. Next, we have the Falcons and Vikings game. So I am, this is my bold prediction for this week, my bold bet. I have the Falcons winning this week um, just because I am Team Raheem Morris. Uh, I liked him as a coach when he was back in Tampa. He obviously didn't get an opportunity to really develop as a coach before they let him go. And then you come to this moment where now he, um, obviously we know the Falcons fired their head coach and, um, Raheem has stepped in, and their owner, the Falcons owner, Arthur, had this to say um, this week about the potential of having Raheem sign on as the actual head coach um, and get a contract with that. And he was like, if he goes 11-0, which is the remainder of the season, um, I'll consider him, which is just like a slap in the face. So... Raheem, I got your back, my guy. I hope you win this week on your first week as a head coach for the Falcons um, during this time. Kill it, my guy. Um, next, I have the Lions-Jags. I'm going with the Lions on this one. Uh, Bengals-Colts. I'm going with the Colts. Um, Jets-Dolphins. I'm going with the Dolphins. Uh, Packers-Bucks. Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady both have a lot to prove this season. Tom Brady with his new team. And then Aaron Rodgers, because the Packers decided to trade up in order to get a quarterback, he is literally just fighting for his job and proving that he is supposed to be the guy. And the Packers made a huge mistake in trading up to get somebody else. Um, so with that said on that game, I think it's going to be a great game. I have the Packers winning. Rams and 49ers. I'm going with the Rams. Uh, 49ers just cannot get it together. They just are, are terrible. They just look terrible. They're terrible. Um, yes, I'm going with the Rams on this one. Um, and then this week, we have another week of two Monday night football games. The first one is the Chiefs and the Bills. Um, Chiefs are not losing two in a row. I just don't see it. Both teams are really good. Uh, they both have records of four and one right now. I just don't see the Chiefs um, making the same mistakes they did last week. So I think the Chiefs are going to win that game. And then, obviously, we have the Arizona Cardinals and my Dallas Cowboys. What a tough break it was for my Dallas Cowboys this last week. Obviously, everybody saw what happened. Uh, Dak Prescott went down with an injury. He has a compound fracture and a dislocation. He went in for immediate surgery after that. Everybody is praying for a speedy and, and healthy and safe recovery for him. I hope he does amazing things um, in his career after this. Um, and I, and I think he'll be just fine. Um, with that said, we now have Andy Dalton. And if you guys don't remember, Andy Dalton was always a starting quarterback. He was a starting quarterback for a long time with the Bengals. He um, knows what it's like to start. So it's not like we have some guy that has never started before coming into that position. Obviously, we're going against a young quarterback in Kyler Murray. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, you know, that they have a, a good team over there, a solid team um, that, that have been playing very well. But if you guys are new to my channel, you should know this of me. I will never pick against my team. Every week, my team is going to be my prediction to win. So with that said, I hope the Dallas Cowboys win this week with our New quarterback, Andy Dalton, who, you know, I miss Dak. I want Dak to do great, but now we have to move our energy toward Andy Dalton and hope that he plays great with the Dallas Cowboys for the remainder of the season. So oh, let's see if I do. I mean, last week, again, I did phenomenal. I, I don't know if I would do that great again, but let's pray I do somewhere around there. Like, at least 
get over half of my games right. You know, that is the goal. So let me know what you guys think about my picks for this week in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. Follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.